Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to add multiple sections to your app and how to configure them. I will start off by clicking on new app in my workplace. Here in the design app, you can create your app. We start first by giving a name to the app. Then click on add section to start with the creation of the app structure. You can give a name to your section on the right hand panel here on the section name. So I will give the name as store details. Then I click on save. In this way you can name your section. In a section you can click on add field and use the various blocks available here to capture information that you require. If you need to divide your app into different sections for capturing different information, you can simply click on add section again and give a name to the second section. When I click on save, the second section is named. And again, here you'll be able to add fields to capture relevant information for this section. You can keep clicking on add section to divide your app. Let me show you an example of an app that has multiple sections. Here I have created an app called Billing Information and as you can see there are four sections to this app. The first section is capturing store information. Second section is capturing the products in which a customer buys so they can be selecting any of these products. The third section is the summary of the purchase and the final section is the delivery information. Now that you have seen how to add sections, let's see how to configure them. So I'll go to the design app where we can edit the app. Now for example, if I select the second section, you can see all the relevant fields that was there earlier. We have already seen how to give a name to the section. So I will go to the advanced option and you can see there are other options for configuration. Let's see how to use subsections. If you want to add subsections to a section in your app, you can click over here and select the existing sections that you have created to turn into subsections. So I will select summary and delivery information section to turn into subsections. I'll click on save and let's see how this looks like. I'll go to app home. Now over here you can see store and product sections only. The summary and delivery information is now hidden. But when I open the product section, you can see summary and delivery information. That is because we have added these two sections to be a subsection of products. Now let's go back to the design app. Here we see allow section to be copied during submission. If you want to have a section multiple times to input same type of data, then you can enable this option. You can also set the amount of copies that you can make for a section. For example, if you want it to be five copies, you can change the value. Next, we have link text to copy this section. In your app, you will only be able to see one copy of this section. But if you want to copy this section in your app to input data, a link will be provided to copy the section. So here you can change the name of the link. For example, I will change it to add another product. I will click on save and let's see how this works. Now when I click on products, you can see only one copy is available. But now we have the link over here that says add another product. When I click on this link, you can see a copy has been made of the same section. In this way, you can keep clicking on add another product and have five copies of this section. That is because we have given the maximum number of copies as five. If you want to increase that value, you can go back to the design app and change that value. Now there is an interesting aspect to this copyable section. For example, if a customer is buying product one and product two, over here you can only select a single product. So in the first copy of the section, I will select product one and give its corresponding price and quantity like so. And in the copied section, I can select product type as product two and again give the corresponding price and quantity. Now under the summary section, you can see total quantity of products and the total. So over here, I would like to know the total quantity of products that a customer has bought and the overall price that they have paid. So quantity would be one plus two, which will be three and the total will be 100 plus 400, which will be 500. So let's see how that calculation works. I'll go to the design app and under summary section, I'll click on total quantity of products and to implement such kind of calculations, I'll go to the right hand panel here under formula. Here you'll be able to implement calculations and logic such as if, else, or, etc. Just like spreadsheets, we share a similar library, but in place of cell numbers, we use the concept of variable names, which you can find at the top of every field in brackets. For copyable sections, you will not be able to use simple addition formula over here, but instead we can use the term sigma and then type in at the rate quantity. 
So using Sigma, you will be able to add the quantities of all the copied section. Now I'll click on save and do the same for total. Since I want to add the total price of each copied section, under formula, I will type in Sigma again and then add the rate total price. Click on save. Now let's see how this works. Again, I'll go back to App Home, click on the product section and then fill in the details. Now that I have added product 1 and product 2 with its corresponding price and quantity, when I click on the summary section, you can see total quantity of products now says 3 and the total says 500. For copyable sections, Sigma is used. Now let's see further configurations. I'll go back to design app. When I click on the section and go back to the advanced option, we have the condition that says display this section if. Here you will be able to add conditions to your section. Let's take an example for this. In the summary section, we have a field that says delivery needed. So if a customer wants a delivery to be done and if it is selected as yes, only then would you like the delivery information section to be shown in the app. But if no delivery is needed and it is selected as no, then you do not need the delivery information section to be shown. To implement this logic, you first select the section delivery information. Then I go to advanced option. Now under display this section if, over here I will type in at the rate delivery needed equals to yes. This means that the delivery information section will only be displayed if delivery needed field is selected as yes. Now let's see how this works. I'll click on save and go back to app home. Now when I click on the product section and then go to the summary section, you can see delivery information is no longer visible. When I click on delivery needed as no, nothing happens. But when I click delivery needed as yes, then the delivery information section appears on the app. So in this way, you can configure your sections. Now I can go ahead and fill in the details of this app. Now that I have filled in all the details in this app, I can go ahead and make a submission. I click on submit. This feature also works in the mobile app as well. All you have to do is download the Clapia app on Play Store or App Store. And the moment you create your app here, it will be ready to use in the mobile version as well. So let's see how that looks like. So here you can see the mobile screen with the Clapia app downloaded on it. So I'll go ahead and click on the Clapia app. Then I will click on the billing information. You can see the app is live and ready to use. When I scroll down, you can see add another product link to copy the product section. When I click on the summary section and then click on delivery needed as yes, then the delivery information section appears on the app. So now I can go ahead and make a submission here as well. Even in the mobile app, you will be able to view all your submissions by clicking on view submissions. And if you want to see any details of a submission, you can simply click on a submission and then view all your details. Now let's go back. In the web versions, to view all your submissions, you can click on the submissions tab. When you click on a submission, a right hand panel will appear that has captured all the details. You can see this was the information that was captured in the mobile version. If you want to download any submission or all the submissions that you might have, you can click on the download button over here. A spreadsheet will get downloaded for you to view all your submissions. You can view all your submissions and you can see that under every section, all the information has been captured. Even the copied section is mentioned over here. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of sections for your app or any features in general in Clapier, you can always request support by clicking on the button here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we will be happy to assist you. Thank you.